name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. One choir left. They're simply called the angels, but they refer to the choir of guardian angels. It's actually the largest choir in heaven. The seraphim and the cherubim and the thrones are the three mightiest ones. Did you know that one seraphim, one seraphim, if he were to appear in the sky, he could knock the sun or the moon or the earth out of its orbit with one finger. That's how powerful the seraphim are. In one of my churches, they used to appear during Holy Mass. I didn't see them. My people saw them. They would stand behind the altar, either four or eight of them. They were approximately 40 feet tall. 40 feet. Way high, like about where that ceiling is. They had fire coming out of them. Seraph means fire. The angels are mighty. Even the guardian angels are strong. And so that picture that we see sometimes of Renaissance artists with little tiny angels wearing diapers, that's not true. I've seen thousands of angels. I've never seen any diapers yet. And even the guardian angels are about our size. They're about five to six feet tall. They are incredibly strong. And they radiate a light from heaven. And that's why every single time an angel appears in Europe, Catholic Bible, every time, what's the first thing the angel says to Mother Mary or the others? Be not afraid. Why is that? You think it's because they're two feet tall with diapers? You wouldn't be afraid of that, would you? Don't be afraid! No, 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 no. You wouldn't be afraid anyway. The reason they have to say that is because they're mighty in power, wondrous in deeds. They reflect the grandeur of God himself. Amen. They are glorious creatures. They are glorious. And they all have special powers. Your guardian angel has special graces that are meant just for you. If you're a college professor, your angel is very intelligent. You see? However, if you're a baker, your angel is a very good cook. Your angels have gifts just for you. So this is the ninth choir called the angels. It's actually the guardian angels. It's the largest choir. And one saint said this at the beginning of creation, when God made the heavens and the earth, he made all the guardian angels and he made one for every human being who would ever live. My like billions of them. Billions. The book of Hebrews says myriads upon myriads. Myriad is a Roman legion of 10,000 soldiers. Myriads upon myriads. That means billions of angels. There's one guardian angel for every human being who's ever been conceived in his mother's womb. That's why abortion should never be even contemplated, never even thought of. Every human being is unique and precious and unrepeatable. Amen? So we're going to pray now in honor of the guardian angels who have gifts for you, and your angel was made by the Holy Trinity for you. He had you in mind when he made your angel. Amen? No talking right now, I'm sorry. Thank you. The ninth choir of angels, the guardian angels, through the intercession of St. Michael, and the celestial choir of angels, may the Lord give us grace to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted hereafter to eternal glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Now, friends, we pray three Hail Marys, but I'm going to ask you, please, that you would lead the Hail Mary, and Deacon and I are going to answer you. Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, beloved, we said the nine choirs of angels now we're going to pray for our fathers in honor of the four angels mentioned by name in sacred scripture. St. Michael, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and the guardian angel. So first now in honor, oh, he's here, in honor of holy St. Michael. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In honor of St. Gabriel, Gabri means strength and El means God. Gabriel means the strength of Almighty God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In honor of St. Raphael, Rapha in Aramaic means medicine. El always means God. Raphael means the medicine or the healing of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the fourth great angel mentioned in the Bible is our own personal guardian angel. And they're whispering to me, they want you to receive the grace of their joy. Beginning today, we declare no more grouchy faces in the Church of Ireland. Beginning today, we're going to be smiling like the angels. And we ask now each of our own guardian angels to give us their gift of holy joy. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now I'll pray the closing prayer for all of us. The first one is to St. Michael himself. And the second one is to the Most Holy Trinity. O glorious St. Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, Guardian of souls, Vanquisher of rebel spirits, Servant in the house of the Divine King, And our admirable conductor, Thou who dost shine with excellence in superhuman virtue, vouchsafe to deliver us from all evil, who turn to thee with confidence, and enable us by thy gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. Please pray for us, O glorious Saint Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ, that we may be made worthy of the promises. Let me do that one more time because you know the answer. Please pray for us, O glorious St. Michael, Prince of the Church of Jesus Christ. And now the closing prayer to God. 
O Almighty and Eternal God, who by a prodigy of goodness and a merciful desire for the salvation of all men has appointed the most glorious archangel, St. Michael, Prince of thy Church, make us worthy, we beseech thee, to be delivered from all of our enemies, that none of them may harass us at the hour of death, but that we may be conducted by him into the august presence of thy divine majesty. This we beg you through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we pray the traditional prayer that everybody knows to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the powers of God, trust Satan down into hell, and with him all his evil spirits who wander the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to give you one simple word, and then we're going to pray the tantum. You can stay there, Deacon. Beloved, at the end of the chaplet, I saw something that I need to share with you at the urging of the Holy Spirit. I saw drug dealers throughout Ireland. And the Lord says to encourage his people, that's you, that we can drive out every drug dealer from Ireland by this chaplet. Amen. And perhaps we can ask the Lord to drive out every bar owner who owns a bar that's, that's like filthy, a bar where they encourage over drinking. If you have a bar, there's nothing wrong with having a glass of red wine, but not 17 glasses of red wine, just one. We need bartenders who say, sorry, uh, you've had one or two, that's enough. Now go pray your rosary. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, most Catholics don't know this, but in the Holy Bible, there's a demon, uh, several demons mentioned by name, one of them is called pharmacia. That's where the word pharmaceutical comes from. The demon of drug overdosing and illegal drugs is found in the Bible thousands of years ago. He's now manifesting himself right now. Demon pharmacia. He's a true and awful demon. One of Lucifer's lieutenants. One of the highest demons in the lowest part of hell. The angels can cover him and cast him off the island of Ireland. They can cast him right off. So the Lord says to encourage you. Ask Matthew Talbot to pray with you, the St. Michael the Archangel chaplet, to drive everything evil off the island, especially illegal drugs and alcoholism. But also anything else like homosexuality. How, how about adultery, pornography? Those are all demonic things. If you pray this chaplet every day, let's fill and surround Ireland with all the angels of heaven. Amen. And finally, we pray that you and I would begin to smile like the angels beginning today. Amen. So we'll have one minute of silence. And would you ask the Lord to give you a joyful heart? If you don't want it, Ireland still needs it. So pray now for a joyful heart, an angelic heart, for one minute to the King of joy, the King of joy, the King of joy. We proclaim today Jesus Christ, the King of joy of Ireland. Amen? Amen. Let not my people be sad, he says. Let them not be sad. Today we proclaim you, Messiah, King of joy of Ireland. Amen. Amen. Now ask the Lord to fill you with his joy. <laughs> 